Hello everyone. In this comprehensive video, I will dive into the wonderful world of stuffing. Before I get into this video, please hit the thumbs up button. I am starting off by adding 225 grams of butter into my pan on medium heat. Here I have some onions, celery, and some carrots. To my butter, I'm gonna add my onions and give them a chance to sweat. I am leaving these until they have become translucent and they should do so in about three minutes. While this is going, I am going to toast my bread. In this bowl, I have four cups of bread. I'm going to bake these off to dry off some of the moisture so that they can stand up to the liquid and not be soggy but they have a nice firm texture still. Now I'm spreading the bread on my baking tray and I'm going to put this in the oven for about 7 minutes. Now that the onions are translucent, I'm going to add carrots. Now I'm going to add my celery I am stirring this and allow it to just be al dente because they still have to bake in the oven for another five minutes and I'll remove it the bread is now done and they are quite still hot but I want them to be crispy but not dark just enough for the moisture from the bread to be dried out now I'm going to add this to my bowl. To this I am adding my mirepoix, which is onion, carrots and celery. And before I forget, I'm going to remove my chili pepper. So I'm going to give this a nice mix. Have all the butter coat the bread and give everything a good toss now it's time for the herbs for the herbs I am adding all fresh ingredients and I am adding curly parsley chopped fresh thyme fresh rosemary and I am going to add some fresh sage Now I'm adding the salt and pepper. I'm going in with a teaspoon and a half of salt and one tablespoon of black pepper. I have one more secret ingredient to add to this aside from my chicken stock. Something that I just love to put in stuffing. You know, everyone makes stuffing differently. How do you make your stuffing? You can do so many things to stuffing. They also call this a turkey dressing, but I wouldn't necessarily call this a dressing. Now I am gradually adding the chicken stock. I'm adding three cups, but I'm adding a cup and a half at a time. Just for the bread to soak up all these flavors. I'm going in with my hand. If it's your first time here, I welcome you. If you have been here already, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you would like to be a part of the Pots Win Kitchen family, please click that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and click the like button. Please don't leave before you click the like button, and this would help me to get my content out to more people. Beautiful. I don't want to mash everything up, I just want to have some texture still. That butter and the chicken stuff. Mm, the herbs is amazing. I love colors and contrast. So I am adding some cranberries to this to give it some sweetness. In order to have those crispy edges on your stuffing, you must have a lot of butter in your baking dish. Now I'm gonna add my stuffing to this. Beautiful. This is amazing. 
Got all those herbs, parsley, sage. Some people say that carrots does not belong in stuffing, but when I make it, it belongs there. Give this a really good press. Beautiful. Remember, if you have not subscribed to my channel in order for me to make more content and for my video to get out there, I'm just asking everyone to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and let me know how you make your stuff and everyone makes stuff in differently but this is how I like it mm. it's time to bake I grab me a nice slice of stuff in. it's nice and juicy on the inside 